Hey guys, welcome to a new video on my channel. Today I want to show you how you can upload pictures and videos from your web browser, so basically from your laptop or computer to Instagram. I will show you now two methods how you can do that. And I will start with the first method, with the easier one. But I will say in advance that you can only upload pictures with this method. So if you're here to find out how you can upload videos from your laptop or computer, then skip to the timestamp that I will show you now in the video. And so I do not waste your time. So and for those who just want to upload a picture to their Instagram account or make a picture in their story, I will show you the first method here. So as you can see, I am here in my Instagram account and you just search instagram.com and sign in. And the next thing is quite easy. You search some space here, for example, click here and then you click on inspect. So in my case, it's in German, but you just click on inspect and once you have done this, you come to here. So it looks kind of strange, I know, but we ignore all of that stuff and click up here. This should be a smartphone or tablet. You click on that so that it gets blue. And as you can see now, it has already changed. And the next thing is really important that you refresh Instagram. So you click here to refresh it and you look now here. Once you've done this, you see it. Now it looks like it's from your phone. So as you can see, you can change here how it should look. So iPhone X, iPad, no matter, it doesn't matter which one you choose. So I think normally it is responsive. So it looks like this, but you can choose everything you want. And as you can see now, you can add here a story. And as I have told you before, you can see here that you can only upload JFIF and JPEG. So you can only upload pictures here. So let's say I would like to upload this one. Let's say open and I could make a story like that. Up there you can make a story, down here you can make a post. So and yeah, JPEG I'd say. And yeah, it's just like on the mobile phone, next and write a caption, tag people at a location, just like on the mobile. So but what I want to show you now is for example if I would like to upload a video now you can see already that they are filtering for JPEG and other picture formats. So if I change it now to all data so I can see my video here you will see now dot mp4 if I would like to upload a video here it's not working. So that's why I tried to come up with a second method how you can upload this and honestly, it was so nerve wracking to finally find a way to do that. And I will show it to you now. So before I do it, um, to get out of this view again, you just click on the tablet and phone again, so that this is not blue anymore. And then again, you close this. And now it looks like this, so not good. And again, you refresh it and wait a moment. And there you go. So now it looks like it have been looking before and yeah. So now I will show you the second way how you can do it. In order that the second method, which I will show you now is working, you need to fulfill four points in order that it works. So the first point is that you need a private Facebook account. In order, you can create a Facebook business page, which is also essential that this method is working. Then the next thing is that you need an Instagram business page. So if you do not have a business page on Instagram, it will not work too. With your private account, you set up a business page. As you can see here, I've created my own business page. It's just two days old, so not really any people here. Once you have created the business page with your own private account, so um, don't worry, no one will see that you have created a business page. So in order you are afraid that some of your friends notice this, then don't worry. And just if you share it with your personal account, then they will know. But if you create it like here and do not share it with your personal accounts, no one will know it. Then the next thing we need to do is to connect your Facebook account to your Instagram account. 
So as you can see, I'm here in my business page, go into the settings. And here you can already read Instagram. So it was quite nerve wracking to find out how this stuff works here on Facebook, especially such a business page. It's more confusing in my opinion that helpful. So after being not on Facebook for a long time, it's quite confusing for me. But as you can see here, I have my connected Instagram account. And there you will see sign up with your Instagram account. Then you type in your username and password. Then your Facebook account is connected with your Instagram account. So this is a must. If you do not do that, it will not work. So then if you've done this, here must be standing connected Instagram account and then your account here. So the next thing you need to do is just type in Facebook, then create a studio. As you can see, create a studio. And here you see the first one, www Facebook create a studio. You click on it. So, and here you can see the inside of your Facebook account. In my case, not really anything as it's two days old and I'm not really doing anything on the Facebook account. Maybe in the future, but nowadays I have stress enough with Instagram. So up here you can see Instagram icon and there we go. So that's what we want. You can see already that scheduled and published posts with calendar view. So your stories, my story from today, yesterday, yesterday, the post from yesterday and the likes and comments. You can also see the insects here. So as you can see actions, today is the 30th of December. So that's why here's posts zero. So don't worry. And here you can see my insights. So I try to be as transparent as possible with you. I have nothing to hide. And yeah, but I'm not talking about that because we're here to share a video or a picture. As you can see up here, you can create posts. Once you click on it, you can see Instagram feed. So a regular picture or a video for your account or IGTV. In my case, I want a video. So I click on it. We write our caption here, but I will show you another important thing first. So this is now my second try when I try this. So because this is my first time that I try to upload something here and I made a big mistake that as you can see here, I will show you details. So the width was 1080 and the height was 1920. And this is not a size that they want here. So this is the real size for reels, but not for a regular video. And I can show you now what happens if you try it with such a video. So the videos must be 360 seconds long, so don't worry. But here it is the aspect ratio between 4 and 5 and 16 and 9 should be given. So now I have another video here. Just tried to edit it, nothing special. It's just short video, longer than three seconds. No, oh, just four seconds. But as you can see, we'll try it with this one now. And wait, I will show you the ratio too. So the width is 1920 and the height is 1080. So now it should work, hopefully. And from file upload and let's look. And there we go. So this one is from before and cover image. You can choose cover. Let's have a look. Let's take, I don't know what looks the best. Image with a custom upload. Choose frame, let's say this one. And save thumbnail. So as you can see now, I will make a post with you. Cover image. How can I get out of here? No. Oh, post info. Oh, you can select. Whoops, my bad. So you can select post info. Let's have a look at the picture. Oh, at the video, sorry. So, and one thing I'm really curious about if the video quality will get killed like it gets killed with my reels too. 
So let's look. Here we will compare it then afterwards. So as you can see, the video is quite sharp. It's filmed with my GoPro Hero 9. But let's look. So I will write now my caption. I'll speed it up for you so that it does not get boring for you. As you can see now I've created my caption, some hashtags and tag people. So you could click here and tag people. I will not do it here. Oh, and you need to go back here with this arrow and add a location, let's say up Austria, perfect. And post to Facebook, uh, publish. So if you click here, you publish it on Facebook too. I will leave it now like that and only publish it on Instagram. As you can see, hopefully it will be looking like that on Instagram too. I will show it to you in a second after it's uploaded. And let's look, click publish. And let's hop here back to my account. And what can we see here? So let's like it first. So that's how it looks on the web browser. And now I want to see it on my phone so you get another view. Here I'm on my phone now. And let's click on the video here. The video didn't really get compressed by Instagram. So normally, they track down your quality, video quality completely. But in this case, have a look, it's still, still sharp. And that's how you do it. I hope I could help you. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask me in the comments. I will try my best to help you. And in order I could help you, then I would really appreciate it if you liked the video and maybe share it with your friends or subscribe to my channel. So I'm really thankful if you do it and I hope I could help you and have a nice day.